so many of the scriptures that I'm using this week and talking about how God gladdens our soul come from the Psalms because so many of the Psalms express gladness and joy at being able to come to the house of the Lord, to the temple, to worship with God's people. And Psalm 122 is one such psalm. It's called a song of ascents because if you've ever been to Jerusalem, uh, you know that in, you are moving uphill and coming into the city and coming up to the Temple Mount. It's on the high ground there. So the Song of Ascent, like Psalm 122, this is a scripture that the people would have been singing and saying as they made their way up the hill into Jerusalem to go to the temple to worship. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem, built as a city that is bound firmly together, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, as was decreed for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there the thrones for judgment were set up, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and security within your towers. For the sake of my relatives and friends, I will say, peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. So I hope by setting the scene you can picture that. A group of worshipers or pilgrims coming up and once they get within the gates of Jerusalem, saying those first two verses. And then this song of praise and prayer for Jerusalem, which I can tell you these thousands of years later, is still a city that requires our prayers. In many ways, some of the great religious struggles throughout history are embodied within Jerusalem, where you have people of Jewish faith, people of Christian faith, people of the Muslim faith, all looking to that particular city as being of great significance for their religion. And that has led to conflicts throughout all of history and conflicts up to this present moment between especially Jews and Palestinians. And many of those Palestinians are Christians. Some are not. But I know from our experience and our trip to Jerusalem, it was very painful to just feel the tension and the seemingly unsolvable problem of how everyone has space in Jerusalem. And so we're still called to pray for Jerusalem. And at the same time, when we come to our worship here at Brewster Baptist Church, I pray that you can come with an attitude of gladness and anticipation and hope that when we gather in worship in person, or if you're still online, that together we will sense God's presence.